It used to be that you could have a boss and he kind of was the culture. You know, everything kind of uh, revolved around the personality and the direction that the, that the head guy took and everybody kind of fell in line. It's not that way anymore. You can't be single-minded and be successful in business. And so you have to intentionally set up a, what it is. How do we want this environment to be? What is our, our focus and such? And so today we're gonna give you some definitions and some practical guides as to how to affect your own culture. And it can be, if you're a, a, a company of one, guess what? You're still gonna have a culture. You're still gonna have a set of priorities and things that guide you. Nobody will question Zappos' commitment to customer service, but what you don't understand is that it permeates everything that they do. It is the focal point of everything they do. They give their people the power to make huge decisions on behalf of the customer that, you know, a lot of business would say, you know, you're just a, you're just a CSR, a customer service person on the phone. You need to ask a supervisor. No, they, they don't do that. They don't time their customer service representatives on the phone. Matter of fact, they encourage them to stay on longer because they know that if you're sitting there listening and, and conversing with somebody, you're building a relationship and that's going to pay dividends in the long run. Uh, th th there's several stories about customer service reps spending an hour on the phone that never sold the first shoe to the person. What you learn is you've got to be intentional. You've got to understand what you want to do and then make it happen.